Welcome. Perfect. Bon, bon thank you. Thank, thank you very much uh, for this opportunity uh, today for me of showing uh, what we are doing uh, in Rome in, in this difficult uh, period and what we did in the, in the last year about uh, sustainable mobility and active, uh, and active modes. Yeah, do, you see, do you see my presentation? Yes, of course. We okay. are very delighted to, uh, to uh, welcome you and let's go on. Okay, thank you, thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you very much uh, again. Uh, so, I'm Enrico Stefano, I'm chairman of the Transportation Committee. I'm a city councillor in Rome in the last uh, eight years. Mm, today, I'm showing uh, what we are doing in Rome on, on sustainable mobility in COVID times. Uh, just, just before uh, the, the pandemic period, um, I want to uh, tell you what we did, uh, we approved in 2019, two years ago, uh, a very important plan, a sustainable urban mobility plan. Uh, it's important, this plan, because we, uh, we started from the SAMP, from the sustainable urban mobility plan to improve in this period the, 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 mobi the sustainable mobility and active modes. Um, we strongly believe, we are very proud of this uh, sustainable urban mobility plan. Rome was uh, one of the first cities in Italy to approve this, this, this plan. Uh, and as, as you can see, it's a... It's, uh, it's, uh, multimodal approach on, on the SAMP. We, uh, we, uh, we improved uh, different topics, different uh, issues, like uh, such as public transport, cycling mobility, pedestrian mobility, sharing and electric mobility, a renewal of our fleet. City logistics also is very important in particular in this period with the e-commerce that is growing very, very fast and road safety and also intermodality. For, for, for me, I think that intermodality is the key, in particular in a complex city like, uh, uh, like Rome. So as you can see, uh, our SAMP, it's, it's a very uh, multi, multimodal approach. Uh, sorry, um, this is what happened one, one year uh, ago after the first uh, lockdown. You can see the, this data about uh, uh, private cars, private mobility. As you can see, uh, we had a drop of, uh, uh, of the traffic during, uh, during the lockdown, obviously. This is uh, last March and last April in 2020. Uh, the same happened in, uh, in the public transport. As you can see on, on this chart, the data about the, the gates of the, of the metro lines we have a drop of the use of the public transport and in particular the underground station. Then, step by step, uh, last, uh, at the end of the last uh, spring, we reopened the city. Like in many other cities, we uh, had a, a very strong uh, measures in, in the public transport to improve the safety conditions and the physical distancing. Uh, we mark position where people uh, can stay on board and off board on the buses, alternative place. The capacity was reduced to 50 up 70 percent with the passenger counters. And obviously, uh, the passenger uh, must uh, uh, wear a safe mask and um, we uh, advise also gloves. Uh, we improved extra cleaning after, after the, the service of the, of the public transport. And also, we improved the, 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 the buses and the, and the line on, on our network, in particular in, in rush hours on the busiest uh, lines. Uh, unfortunately, this is also a very important topic. We, uh, have, uh, we have uh, less revenues uh, for the public transport operator because also, in particular, less passengers means less tickets sold uh, and so and so. And also, it's a very important problem for our public transport uh, company. Uh, but what we, what we are doing uh, still today, we are improving, promoting active uh, modes such as uh, bike lane and pedestrian path um, in particular because Rome is a, 
it's a big city, it's a big city, but the every journey, uh, every day, it's it's very short. Sometimes it's less than uh, five kilometers, and five kilometers up to ten kilometers is a perfect journey to be covered by uh, bicycles or, or, or by foot. Uh, so we starting the implementation of the transition uh, cycle lanes uh, up to 150 kilometers. Uh, as uh, I said at the beginning, we uh, this implementation of the transition cycle lanes uh, started from what we uh, did with the SAMP, with the Sustainable Urban Mobility Plan. So we started for the network planned in the Sustainable Urban Mobility Plan, and we starting uh, we started uh, realizing the pop up bike lanes as uh, as uh, sometimes they are are called. Uh, we obviously identify road axes and connecting them with the mm, most important uh, hub of the public transport uh, network. Uh, we intercepting the post lockdown uh, flows, obviously. And uh, we are very focused on uh, systematic uh, journeys because uh, we believe that uh, uh, people can use the bicycles every day to, to go to, to work, to, to the university, to, to the school. The, the, the most important thing is to be agile, quick, and, uh, and smart. And also we improved pedestrian to uh, give most, more space to, to citizens. Here you can see a picture of a transition a pop-up bike lane. And you can see in, in, this, uh, in this picture also, uh, we uh, improved the space for the citizens that uh, they are waiting the, the bus. So as I always said, um, a new bike lane is also an opportunity uh, for the other people. In this case, the pedestrian have a free space to wait safety uh, the, the buses. This is, uh, this is very important. Uh, in autumn uh, 2020, uh, more or less, we, uh, we, we back to, to, to normal. The, our daily movement in main road uh, improved from, from the previous period. Uh, here you can see uh, the most important roads uh, in, uh, in Rome, how the traffic increases and also on the underground uh, and the metro lines, the, the gate arches. But you can see that in, the, in this chart is, is a bit uh, below the previous period, because uh, in this period, sometimes people are, uh, are uh, uh, scared about the public transport. And this is the reason we, why we are improving the pop-up uh, bike lanes, the transition bike lanes, because uh, our target, uh, our... Uh, scope is that uh, people don't go to, to, to cars, but they uh, take the alternative to, to private cars. Uh, but uh, for example, as I said, uh, bicycles or, or, or also by foot, uh, because sometimes people are afraid of public transport in this pandemic, uh, in this pandemic uh, uh, period. What we learned about uh, uh, this, uh, this difficult uh, uh, period, uh, this very hard period, it's very important uh, improving uh, ITS and uh, mobility data monitoring and modeling. This is very important. We have also partnership with startup, uh, with, uh, with uh, companies like, uh, for example, Moveit, uh, to, to check the data on, on the basis of the passengers. This is very, very important. Also, a, a partnership with, uh, with, uh, with startup and other uh, companies. Also, obviously, it's important to keep us as possible smart working and digitalization to reduce the, the need of, of, of transportation and access active modes. As I said, uh, pedestrian and bike lanes is very important. The mobility managers network is very important to organize the uh, journey of the workers, uh, reducing the, the rush hour. Uh, times promote also sharing modes. Micro mobility is very important. We improved uh, uh, the sharing scooters, electric scooters. In this period, we have um, um, a very good uh, answer from from the citizen. And as I said, bad regulation of site timing to avoid that every everybody go out uh, at 8 a.m. in the morning, and obviously take care of pollution reducing and climate change. Uh, 
<laughs> this is a very important uh, to remember. We won't get back to normal because normal was the problem. I strongly believe that we have to rethink how our cities uh, change totally, changing totally the, the public space, uh, reducing the impact of private cars and uh, uh, give more space to pedestrians, to bicycle, to um, improve the uh, quality of the space, the life quality in big cities like, uh, like Rome. Uh, thank you, thank you very much for your attention. Here you can see my email and, and contact and uh, I give you these this last pictures. Uh, <laughs> keep the faith, uh, we, we, we can back to normal, I hope, uh, very, very soon. Thank, thank you. you very thank much, you very uh, much. Enrico, for this uh, presentation. Thank you very much.